New South Wales police have warned the public against trying to manufacture plastic guns using new 3D printers. Authorities around the world are trying to stop downloadable pr blueprints of handguns being distributed over the internet. But the online plans have already been acquired by over 100,000 people. John Stewart reports. It's called the Liberator, a plastic gun made by a 3D printer. 3D printers cost under $1,500 and work by spraying down layer upon layer of plastic to form an object. Plans of the objects can be downloaded over the internet. The model of this handgun has been obtained by more than 100,000 people around the world. That weapon cost us approximately $35 to make. We made that on a base entry level 3D printer. The New South Wales Police today warned the public against making or using plastic guns. Make no mistake about it, not only are these things undetectable, untraceable, cheap and easy to make, but they will kill. It penetrated approximately 17 centimetres into the gelatin block, which is about six and three quarter inches. And that would have been a fatal wound if it was pointed at someone. The police have received information that plastic bullets can also be made by 3D printers and say that making or using a plastic gun in Australia is illegal. If you are thinking about even considering even making one of these weapons, you need to understand that not only are they illegal, but uh, they are enormously dangerous. The Liberator is only a single shot handgun. But the plastic guns are difficult to detect and are becoming a threat to airport security. Authorities are concerned that gun owners may modify bigger weapons, making firearms fully automatic by printing their own gun parts. Homemade plastic landmines or grenades may also become a security problem as 3D printers begin to simplify weapons production. Simplification, that's all that 3D printing is bringing to the party, is a, a simpler way of making parts. Whether it's a gun or whether it's a landmine or whatever type of shape you use, it's determined on the materials you use and, and the processes. So yes, it does make it easier. Bruce Jackson operates a 3D printer business in Australia and New Zealand. This is going to be printing a bearing, so what you see on the computer screen, that's what it's going to print. It's going to print all the balls inside the bearing race and it'll come off the printer just like that and it'll be a working bearing. He says the vast majority of objects being made by 3D printers are beneficial to society, from human body parts used by doctors to spare parts for consumer goods. I fixed my uh, dishwasher at home, uh, plastic clip broken, 10 year old dishwasher, I can't find that part anymore, just drawing it up, printed it out, very easy to do and it's, you know, and it works and it only cost me $1.20 to make that part. More expensive are the new 3D titanium printers which can make complex metal objects. Bruce Jackson says they cost about $1 million. Fortunately, the printers are still too expensive for those in the market for cheap homemade guns. John Stewart, Late Line.